the slap back. Oh, that's good. That's good like it is. That's, that's good. We're talking anyways, you know. Go ahead. Dave Riddle. <laughs> hey, hi. Hey. This guy uh, came in and uh, took over when Randy, uh, Ramblin' Randy couldn't show up tonight. And I want to thank you for doing that. I'm very uh, grateful to do it. I'm also going to be a little mutual admiration society here. Um, listening to you, Dave, you know, uh, you're one of the unrecognized local cultural uh, phenomenons. You know, I mean, really, <laughs> well, just uh, uh, this guy uh, sometimes just blows me away uh, with his performances. I was just reading <laughs> earlier today about Renaissance music, All okay? Right. And you couldn't get on a stage in the Renaissance and sing a song if you weren't a poet. I guess they uh, booed you off or, or hung you up by your <laughs> you know thumbs or whatever else they did in those enlightened times. <laughs> uh, Dave here, you know, I, I never r really realized until listening. Redneck poet. Yeah, no, okay. You, you, do you consider yourself a poet? Sure do. Yeah, good, good. Sure. No, Ever I since hear that. I was a kid, man. And yeah. I like the right little words. I hear that in your music a lot, especially this time, and, yeah, and I really cool. appreciate that. Um, I know what came from the, from the last song. You say the uh, the influence of, of your children. The immortality that, that's that we got. Immortality, yeah. right? Sorry, immortality, procreation, immortality. It's like one and the same. That's how we do it. You know, that's how we see this guy. <laughs> he, 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 a huge topic. Anyways, you know, as wide as you can get, narrowed down to personal experience. I mean, I what what more can you ask? I really like that. Thanks. And yet, you have yet to have a. A CD out there, huh? Oh, just holding back, you know. You're waiting till till the. Uh, I'm having fun. I'm having till the public fun screams for it. Huh? It's so nice. You're torturing them. That's what you're doing. They don't take photos of me and put them in people. <laughs> you know? Okay. It's pretty cool. Well, you say you've done this homeless song before. I've probably sure, sure heard, heard it many it, yeah, times sure. and not known the title. Sure, you'll know it. So I'll know it. it. Okay. But anyways, there's a there's a thing about homeless people. See, it's, it happens like sometimes in a blink of an eye. You could go from being upper middle class you're, as you're growing up. Really? And you could get into a certain circle or a certain situation and find yourself sleeping underneath the bridge. It's pretty humbling, you know. Uh-huh. And um, so this song I wrote, I said, even homeless people need songs. Right. So I, I see. The cliche is falling through the cracks. It is. Yeah. Sometimes the crack there, falls on you, you know. And sometimes you have to crawl back out or stay in the crack, and then right. there's your choices. Okay. So this is we'll let you get clip. to that, yeah. Check a one. Check a one. Most importantly, for sure, it's not in a mountain, it's not in the sea, it's in your heart, can plainly see, yeah, look around, you might see. 
It's a homeless tune. Thanks, thanks.